I just got back from a week aboard Celebrity Cruise Line's newest ship, the Ascent. This is a beautiful ship and there is a lot to talk about here. Today I'm going to give you an honest ship review. We're going to look at the ship itself, the food and dining venues, all of the places to spread out and enjoy the ship, the entertainment and shows, the activities offered, and all of the things that make up the cruising experience aboard the Celebrity Ascent. There is a lot to talk about with this huge edge class ship, so let's get started. First things first, this ship was built and first sailed in 2023. As a matter of fact, when I sailed in January of 2024, I was only the seventh cruise aboard. The ascent is 1,073 feet long, 128 feet wide. It is over 140,000 tons, and it can hold over 3,000 passengers. I'm going to break my review down into the following categories. The ship itself, the food, the activities offered, the entertainment and shows, and the overall cruising experience aboard the Celebrity Ascent. Let's begin with the ship itself. As I mentioned, this is a brand new ship, so it looks brand new, beautiful, gorgeous, well laid out, beautifully designed areas to lounge, take in the views, enjoy the outdoors, lots of beautiful spaces indoors as well. Let's begin with the pool deck and take a quick look here. Celebrity Ascent has a total of five pools and six hot tubs. One of those pools is for adults only, and one of those pools is exclusively for suite guests. There is also one hot tub only for adults, and two hot tubs only for suite guests. The rest are open to everyone, including children. Although I will mention that on this particular sailing, there were hardly any children aboard. Now, one of the things I loved best about this particular pool deck was how involved it is and how much there is to do up here how many different spaces there are to enjoy and each space has a different feel i tend to spend a lot of time on a pool deck when i'm cruising and this had so many pockets to relax in you could always lie right next to the pool of course but one of my more favorite areas turned out to be the rooftop garden and the sunset bar take a look at the rooftop garden it is a wide open space with lots of seating and even though there are not hundreds and hundreds of chairs here it never felt crowded i could usually come here at any time and find a seat part of the day the wide open space is used for pickleball but eventually they do take that net down and leave the space wide open this is a space well utilized as well they have stretch classes here in the morning silent meditation they had some dance classes here, and they showed movies on the outdoor screen. Sunset Bar is a gorgeous area. Now, I will say it was a little bit harder to find a seat here no matter when you went. It was very popular, but for good reason. Look at these views. The whole area has a sort of old time Southern California feel to it, in my opinion, and it's just so inviting. And not only is there seating right next to the bar, but they're seating on a slightly lower level as well over here. And this seating is covered, which is perfect for when it's really, really hot or when it's raining. And plenty of pool chairs around the pool. You could also rent these private cabanas. Now they weren't exactly private, but if you rented one, it was just for your party to use all day long. As for the interior of the ship, so much to talk about here, too much to cover in a ship review. And if you're looking for a thorough tour of the Celebrity Ascent, please look for that video on my channel soon. Let me just say the interior was just as gorgeous as the pool deck. Brand new, polished, gorgeous, beautiful, sparkling. The martini bar here was well utilized. Lots of live music and entertainment here. There were shops to go to. There were various dining venues to visit. All of the main dining rooms were beautiful. I loved my little solo cabin with the infinite veranda. I've never had one of those before because I've never sailed Celebrity before. It was wonderful and this did not feel like a solo cabin. It was not cramped, it was very spacious. 
Now, of course, the pool deck did get crowded during the day and the theater filled up at night, but overall the ship did not feel overly congested and it felt well designed. Every space you found to take a seat felt welcoming. It felt like it was waiting just for you. I have no complaints about the ship and I think it's beautiful. I would not hesitate to sail this ship again. So for the ship, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Next up, let's look at activities. And I do have two different points of view and two different things I would like to say about activities. But first, let's just take a quick look at some of the things offered to do aboard the Celebrity Ascent. First of all, you have a casino. This is a non-smoking casino, which I did appreciate. They had, of course, normal casino activities in here, and they also had an organized slot pool and some organized blackjack tournaments. I consider the fitness center and the spa an activity when I'm cruising. This was an amazing fitness center, spread out, beautiful, all the equipment you could ask for. The spa was beautiful, spacious. They offered all of the standard spa treatments and the spa staff was friendly and professional. They have an amazing thermal suite, beautiful stone chairs with amazing views, and of course, lots of rainfall showers and different saunas. I did buy a thermal pass for the week and of course, as is typical for every cruise ship, every time I went to the thermal suite, all of the stone loungers were taken and it was quite busy. But aside from that, gorgeous venue, plenty to see here, plenty to use, very clean, modern, beautiful. As far as trivia and games, most of them took place right here. This is called the club. This was a wonderful space and we had a lot of fun games in here. Take a look at these games. They were very interactive. You had to use your body to play these games. The colored lights created all of these paths and obstacles you had to overcome. We also did a sort of escape room puzzle game here in groups. We had a mystery to solve. There were clues on the movie screen. We had some boxes to unlock and codes to unscramble. There were other interesting activities offered as well over in Eden. They had sketch classes, they had a paracord bracelet making class one day, and a macrame class one day. There was a walking and running track up on deck 15. This was heavily utilized the entire cruise from sunrise to sunset. There were quite a few organized outdoor games by the pool deck, such as this beanbag toss game, and different things like that. They also offered some Zumba classes and dance classes out on the pool deck. They showed movies at the rooftop garden on the big outdoor screen. And our first night there was a football game and they showed that live on that screen as well. Obviously, swimming was an activity available all day and soaking in the hot tub as well. So the two things I would like to say about the activities offered. I felt they had a very good variety plenty of indoor activities and several outdoor activities as well. They varied between being active and things you could just sit down and do. Some of them were artistic, some of them were more traditional like trivia and games. The other thing I would like to point out about the activities, I appreciated the variety and I enjoyed them very much. Let me just mention in case you are unfamiliar with celebrity. Although children are welcome on celebrity, there are generally fewer children on Celebrity Cruise Lines than you might find on somewhere like Carnival or Royal Caribbean. Because of that, I did not see as many activities offered day to day that would be good for the whole family, including young children. You weren't going to find family carnivals here, parades, things that small children would especially enjoy and be able to participate in. The majority of activities offered are for adults. So keep that in mind when you're planning your cruise. If you're new to Celebrity, you want to take a good look if you have small children, whether or not this is the best fit for you. As I said, they're welcome on board and there is a children's camp offered as well. But on this particular sailing, honestly, I think there were less than 20 kids aboard the whole ship and I didn't see a lot of activities designed to include them. So that's just something to be aware of. Now, putting all of that aside, 
Looking objectively at the activities, as I said, I felt they offered a nice variety and I enjoyed the activities I chose to participate in. So for that reason, I'm going to give the activities a nine out of 10. Time to talk about the entertainment offered aboard the Celebrity Ascent and I thought the entertainment was outstanding. Now I will say off the bat, that one of the shows we were supposed to see that week was canceled due to technical difficulties. But the shows that we were offered were wonderful. We had Andrew Derbyshire. He put on several different shows. He was amazing, very fun. He engaged the audience quite a bit, lots of personality, incredibly talented. Even though he brought us multiple shows, he made each show different and exciting. Another individual performer on board was Nikenge, and she was incredible, phenomenal. She put on several different shows and they were all just outstanding. The number one form of entertainment on the Celebrity Ascent was live music, and this was available throughout the day, usually beginning more heavily in the afternoons, and featured prominently all around the ship in the evening. You could find live music every night at the Martini Bar and in Eden. There was often live music on the pool deck. If you consider dancing entertainment, oh my goodness, was there ever dancing aboard this cruise? People were out on the dance floor every single night and really living it up. And I have to say, every time someone performed live music, for people to dance to, they were phenomenal. No matter what kind of music they brought to the table, they were outstanding. This may sound odd, but the martini bartenders were some of the entertainment offered here. They juggled bottles, they had fancy pours, they did all kinds of tricks with their shakers and bottles. Two other performers on board were Monique Marvez. She was a hilarious and talented stand-up comedian. She did two different shows. We had a magician called Magical Bones. He did close-up magic, outstanding magic, and break dancing. Both of those performers asked that we did not videotape their performances, so I don't have clips of them, but they were phenomenal. So wrapping up my review of the entertainment on Celebrity Ascent, I feel they had good choices. I feel the people they had were outstanding across the board. There was not one performance on board that I did not like. Everybody was phenomenal. As I said with activities, not a lot here for small children, and I don't think they're supposed to be. You know, celebrity is marketed towards adults mostly. So keep that in mind. If you have little ones that you wanna bring on the cruise, might not be enough choices here for them, but putting that aside, the entertainment was phenomenal. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Now it's time to talk about food and where to begin. So many choices on the Celebrity Ascent, it's amazing. First of all, they have over 32 combined food and beverage opportunities here. They have 14 cafes, bars, and lounges, eight specialty restaurants, four main dining rooms, four casual dining venues. There are two restaurants just for sweet guests. This is Lumine and Blue. Lumine has exclusive menus and Blue features healthier lifestyle type menus with an extensive wine list. Of the four main dining rooms, you can choose any one you want each night. If you're on My Time Dining, go and see if they have a spot for you and you can preview the menus in your app. Each restaurant has a different emphasis such as Italian or Mediterranean. And one restaurant is open for lunch and breakfast each day, as well as dinner. Eden has a little cafe that's open for lunch. It has a small selection of things here. This is not an extensive cafe, but they have some nice things, terrific cookies here, and some healthier choices. You will find Cafe Al Baccio on two different locations. One of them is in the buffet. One of them is near the martini bar. They also have complimentary desserts, sandwiches, little snack type things available all day long. Make sure you try the vegan cake. Even if you're not vegan, I found the vegan cake overall to be better day to day than the non-vegan cakes. 
As far as bars, of course you have many, many bars to choose from. The most popular bars were the Martini Bar here, especially in the evening while dancing and music was happening. You have the Craft Social Bar. This was a popular spot with sporting events on TV. And of course you had the buffet. The buffet was huge. It was open three meals a day and it had a huge variety. Now in full disclosure, I am a vegetarian and on every cruise ship, I do find vegetarian choices to be somewhat limited, somewhat expected. I mean, a lot of salads and a lot of fruit plates are offered, but they had a reasonable amount of vegetarian things offered, particularly in the buffet. Now I will say I found the food here to be good, not outstanding or memorable, but good. I found the food in the main dining rooms to be excellent and the service was excellent. The ice cream was terrific. Cookies, cakes, and desserts, usually very good. Some were kind of bland. Some of them looked better than they tasted. I loved the fresh bread available every day in the buffet. The handmade specialty coffees were terrific. And there was a giant variety of food here. Everything you could ask for, extensive wine menus. Putting that all together, I'm going to give the food on Celebrity Ascent an eight out of 10. And that brings us to the final category, the overall cruising experience aboard Celebrity Ascent. This was my first time sailing with Celebrity, so a lot of my experience was educational for me. It was a series of discoveries, what it's like to cruise with Celebrity. And of course, being on this brand new, beautiful, big ship was very exciting. I take a lot of things into consideration for the overall cruising experience. For one thing, I thought we had a good itinerary. We visited Cozumel, Grand Cayman, and Nassau in the Bahamas. We arrived on time, we left on time. There were no surprises or unexpected events along the way. The captain made announcements each day. He kept them brief and he had a lot of personality and a lot to say. He was great to listen to, he made jokes. He made an appearance on the stage before one of the performances and introduced himself. He was great. The staff is a big part of the cruising experience on any ship and this staff was phenomenal. I had to visit medical twice while on board and I thought medical was terrific as well. They handled my situation perfectly and I have no complaints there. I felt each day's activities were communicated well, not only in the app, but I also had a paper compass delivered to my room each day. My room was clean and comfortable. I felt the air conditioning did a good job. I loved the way the ship was designed. I felt that there were many different pockets of the ship to go to depending on what mood I was in. I could go to lots of different places to check out the sunset or the sunrise. I could go places to swim, soak in the hot tub. I could be around lots of people. I could find a corner off by myself if that's what I wanted. The ship was easy to navigate. There were signs everywhere. The shops were high-end, not especially interesting to me, but they were nice shops with quality merchandise, very friendly professional staff. I felt the activities staff was especially terrific. They were so fun when they organized the games, they had a way of engaging everyone in the room. Even if you weren't out on the floor playing, they found a way to involve everybody. There was a wide variety of things to do, indoors, outdoors, active and non-active. In the evenings, plenty of dancing and live music. The casino was open as much as possible. I loved the fact that it was non-smoking. And overall, there's just nothing to complain about here. This was a beautiful ship. If you're in the mood for relaxing and enjoying a cruise ship, cruising around the Caribbean and just enjoying the warm weather, the pools, the hot tubs, having a drink, listening to live music, doing a little dancing, this is the cruise for you. So overall, I'm going to give the cruising experience aboard the Celebrity Ascent a 9 out of 10. The Celebrity Ascent is now in my top 10 favorite ships of all time, and I can recommend this ship wholeheartedly. That wraps up my ship review for the Celebrity Ascent. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please like and consider subscribing. Please stay tuned to my channel. I will have many more videos coming out about this ship. I will have a ship tour and other videos describing the experience on board. Have you sailed the Celebrity Ascent? If so, please leave a comment or thought for your fellow traveler.
Thank you so much for stopping by and enjoy your next cruise. Happy sailing! Mm -hmm.